automatic close when the opposite signal comes out very very easy as you can see here i have a stupid strategy and it's a simple rsi buy and sell it buys when it's below 20 and it sells when it's above 80. now as you can see right now it has a sell open but the moment it touches into the 20 zone you will see it close and open a buy very very simple you don't need a stop loss or a take profit for this so immediately go into your meta editor i'ma call this the auto close now i'm pretty sure that everybody who has come to this video already has a strategy and they just want to add this little bit of code so this code is going to be available on the website just press the link down below and for everybody who's looking to build that expert advisor but doesn't have a programmer or is not that good you can hit me up i left my contact details below if you're looking to learn how to code check out the link down in the description and if all of this is completely new to you and you don't even know what we're talking about then please take the free 4 hour forex course down in the description as well. Now the first step that we're going to be doing is defining our stupid strategy. Alright so now this is the simple RSI strategy. It sells when it's above the 80, it buys when it's below the 20. Very very simple, nothing complicated. Your coding now begins here and this is when you have your own strategy. Right below after you are done coding your strategy is when you begin your auto close. Now the first thing that we're going to do right is that we're going to be telling the computer to count all the available number of orders. What do I mean by that? Remember the computer doesn't have eyes or ears, so we're going to tell it to count how many orders are currently running, how many sell orders, how many buy orders, all of that. So it's just going to do a quick run through that. And the first step that we need to do right now is create this function. the position index and you can call this whatever you want but then i'm calling it position index because the position index is what's going to be used for the loop when we are counting after we do that then we need to go get the total number of orders this is where we're going to be storing the orders that we have just counted up above Four open brackets position index is equal to the total number of orders minus one so that it starts counting from negative one. This is when there's absolutely no orders. So whenever the position index is greater than or equal to zero, then it's going to loop through all the orders. And then finally position orders up until infinity. So after we've counted the current orders that are on the terminal, right? We are going to be selecting the trades that we want specifically. This is also going to help if maybe you have trades coming from other expert advisors or you have your own manual trades out there. You don't want it to be closing all trades on your terminal, right? You want them to close only the specific ones that you want. And that's what we're doing right now. We're going to put an if statement. Order select position index, then we're going to select by position. Right after we have told the computer that we want to select specific orders, now we are going to be selecting those specific orders. And then we're going to say if the signal is equal to sell because up here I said that when the RSI is above 80 then let the signal equal to sell right and this is only possible because the first thing that I did when I started this code was that I put in the string signal and then when the signal was equal to sell this is where I opened the OP cell and that's this statement right here the order send so now I'm saying if the signal is indeed equal to sell right Mr. Computer I want you to count the trades then if you see a sell now this is where the magic happens right not just any cell Mr. Computer but I want you to pick all cells with this specific magic number now you know what a magic number is a magic number is this number right here when you put in your order send it's going to ask you for the integer magic number right there 
And I purposefully put 1, 2, 3, 4 here because I knew I was going to be doing what? The auto close. So you can put any number that you want here in the world, even your bank pin. I'm kidding. <laughs> but then we're going to be selecting the cells based on magic numbers so that the computer doesn't close any other trades that we don't want it to close. It's only going to close trades with this 1, 2, 3, 4 magic number. And to write that, I'm going to say order magic number. So if the signal is equal to sell and the order magic number just happens to be one, two, three, four. Remember we use double equals when we are equating things in coding, right? And is this cell with this one, two, three, four magic number matching the particular symbol that we want? This is going to be for you guys out there who want to, um, distinguish it by maybe cat chf you're like no close only the cells that come from cat chf then you're going to be putting that right here and because i'm not specific to any currency pay like your usd or gbpsd i don't care what currency pay it is i'm not specific to that i'm just going to be writing symbol only and finally type this Now we are going to be closing this order automatically. And yep, just like that, we're going to be closing all sales and opening buys. Now you're basically done. Now we're going to be copying this entire statement now. And this is the beauty of coding. This is the secret weapon. And then we're going to be copying and pasting it. Just changing buy here when it comes to sell. Because remember, I had defined this up here. I said that when the RSI is below the 20, then please buy. And then if it is a buy, then please open a buy. So now I'm saying that wherever you see a buy, Mr. Computer, please close that. And the magic number stays the same because I use the same magic number for both. So that I know that all buys and sells from this EA will automatically be closed. And then the opposite signal shall be released. So here you just change it up to OP underscore sell. And that's pretty much it. Now we can go and test it out and see if it actually works. Remember that the source code will be available on the website for those of you who are lazy to watch this entire. Or if maybe you didn't see exactly what I did, you can get the code right there on the website. Link in the description. And let's see if we code it correctly. It's currently opening a buy right now. Yep, closed it, opened the cell. Let's, let's wait for it to be oversold. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and peace to you.